All right. We're going to talk about the election really quick. Okay. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> this is breaking from the New York Times as of about 10 minutes ago. Allies of Donald Trump are imposing mass layoffs at the uh, Republican National Committee, according to two people fam familiar with the matter. So Bill, my mom, said Trump is cleaning house at the RNC to reduce overhead and expenditures so he can flood money into de his defense and fines. I would not be surprised. And I think the uh, interesting thing about this, and I've talked about this before, is like <clears throat> how at a significant disadvantage the Republicans are to um, being able to run comprehensive and extensive campaigns against Democrats in these districts. Because the reality is <clears throat> Donald Trump has uh, taken most of his money and funneled it into legal fees. The RNC has taken a pretty decent amount of their money and funneled it into his defense funds as well, right? And you've run into a situation where the RNC has the lowest amount of cash on hand since 2014. Biden has double the money. There's going to be more outside uh, money coming in. And I'm sure that there'll be some Republican stuff coming in. But the lack of, you know, a coherent strategy in that regard could really come back to bite him. But I've talked about this. You know, nobody wants to donate to the Republicans for the very simple fact that they are blowing their money on Donald Trump. So you're in a situation where, you know, the Democrats are going to have campaigns going on. They're going to have a coherent strategy. Uh, they're going to be organizing at a local and state level uh, to a much more significant degree than the Republicans are. And now you have uh, this where they're cutting people uh, going into the or going into the, the 2024. And I know that Republicans don't think that money – you know, a lot of the low information Republicans that are coming through here don't think that that kind of money will help an election, but it will. Uh, two to four percent. And that two to four percent, if it's unopposed, if there's nobody running an alternate campaign to get out people to vote, can be disastrous. So there's that. I think it's expected because uh, Laura Trump is now the co chair of the RNC and, of course, is going to be doing his bidding, is going to be. Uh, installing more yes men into their operations so you know it's only downhill from here but i welcome it yeah I, I i think that he is doing a good job to undermine their party number one if this guy doesn't care about the united states and protecting the united states and doesn't hold any regard for it it's like that narcissistic that selfish he doesn't hold any regard for anything about the United States. He tried to overthrow the government. He stole our documents. He tried to overthrow numerous different elections uh, with complete disregard for how it would undermine election systems going forward, right? Just under, just wholesale undermined it. So if you think that he's going to look out for the best interests of the RNC, good luck, because it ain't going to work like that. <laughs> I mean, he on the not... plus side, the crazy ass ghouls that he's got running on a congressional or gubernatorial level won't have the money to compete. This Robinson right. guy... He's going to fail badly in North Carolina right. of all places. Right. And I think that, so there will be outside money coming in, right? Like that's, that's a mm -hmm. gimme that there will be outside money coming in for the Republicans. The problem is, is like, usually there's a coordination, right? And it doesn't, you can't actually coordinate with super PACs as a uh, political or a political action committee cannot uh, work hand in hand with the DNC or the RNC or any campaign or anything like that. It's, it violates uh, laws unless the Supreme court overturned that because uh, <laughs> they've been doing that. So unless you that know, was recent, I don't know. Unless idea. they recently did that. Um, the law in the past though, um, was that you couldn't coordinate in any capacity. That being said, these super PACs are not stupid, right? They have, they're especially the ones with a lot of money. They're following the leader, right? So you have the Democrats doing X, and these packs follow suit. Well, we're going to attack on this, that, and the other and sort of amplify what they're saying. If there's no coordination, if there's no coherent strategy, it's just everybody throwing shit into the wind. So I, I think it's a bad thing for Republicans. I think it's a bad time for them to decide to mass lay off the RNC. But um, I think Donald Trump's going to try and take that money. I think he's going to try and take the money that comes in and use it to fund his legal campaign or pay off debt because 
So the first half of last year, six months, uh, he raised $72 million or something like that. Um, about 15 million went into his actual campaign, 20 something million, like 22 million went into funding, uh, raising money. And then the remainder, $40 million, and he was actually in the hole by like 6 million, but $40 million was used for his legal fees. So yeah, he's using that money and the RNC has been giving money to him as well, but this does clear the path for him to use the RNC as his piggy bank. And he does not give a shit, right? He doesn't care uh, because his whole thing right now is I'm going to try and win the election and I'm going to do whatever I can while also fighting the thing. He like, I think that like in his panic right now is clear panic. He is hedging that he does not need to invest in an election that he can use his persona to somehow get he thinks he can coast. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you, he thinks, well, I have this celebrity. People know who I am. The problem is, is like, you need to contact voters, right? You need to contact people that vote a lot and make sure they're voting. That's why. Not only because that, it, but you need to expand the electorate. Right. And you have to have like a wide base. You have to know and have a coherent strategy. And right now the RNC has nothing. They don't, have, they don't know what they're doing. And I, I, the bigger thing here too is that Micah Johnson has no idea what he's doing. Like he's a <laughs> lost puppy, right? He has absolutely no idea what he's doing. Uh, I mean, the guy's floundering. He, for all of Kevin McCar uh, McCarthy's faults, the guy could at least take something to the voters and be like, this is what we did, right? Um, mm -hmm. And now you, you don't even have that. You can't even be like, oh, we got this done. impotent man. Yeah. Mike Johnson is, uh, I don't know. I expect him to probably Little be Little Mike. I mean, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I expect him to be the house leader until they get blown out. And then I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I'll go back to Steve Scalise or no, I think they're going to replace degree. him. They have no record to run on. I think um, some months ago I read that this is on track to be one of the least productive legislative sessions in over a half century or so. And yeah. that's not good. That's not a good look going into this next election. So I don't know how they can raise money off that, how they can get, you know, expand the number of, of seats that they already have when it's like less than a hair that they already got. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that, you know, this, this election for them is going to be a do or die type thing. You have, I mean, basically the whole way they're supposed to work is during the midterms, the non-incumbent party is supposed to do well. And they didn't, the Republicans didn't, they won like, I think they won up 14 seats. No, less than that. They won 14 total seats, like a mm -hmm. net 14 seat gain. And I mean, just, just a terrible showing. And now they're in a situation where when this swings back, if there's any sort of momentum in the Democrat side, you're looking at a blowout, right? You're looking at a blowout and you have to have people want to show up for Donald Trump for them to down ballot. Otherwise it doesn't work like that. You have to get use Donald Trump to get people out to down ballot. And right now he's doing an awfully good job at making sure that they're not going to contact voters, <laughs> that moderates hate him, that, you know, Republicans hate him, even in the primaries, right? Like, I don't know how much weight I give it, but the fact that half of Nikki Haley voters are not going to vote for Donald Trump should tell you something, right? That there right. is a undertone of anger to some degree in the Republican party that doesn't want this guy to be president again. Then he has the criminal. And, you know, trials. his message is that people who supported her or her voters are not welcome in MAGA, are not welcome in government. So, like, what right. kind of message does that send? It's it's one of isolationist, um, cultist personality that's not going to you know expand the base that they're looking to win with. Right. So now, not only are you pushing away women by Roe v. Wade, not only are you pushing away the LGBTQ community with the bills that you've written against them, not only are you pushing away the black community as you have been for a long time in the Hispanic, uh, you know, uh, um, electorate with this, with the vile hatred towards migrants, um, you're also pushing away your own voters. And can you imagine for a second, if he does drain their funds to the degree that they, they can't do anything, uh, electorally, and then he gets convicted of a felony on top of that. Like, if that drop, like, could you imagine if five percent of the people that are going to vote for him dropped him? 
That would be a, that'd be disastrous. Uh, the Republicans would lose across the board, right? That would be a huge loss because they don't want to show up down ballot. They're like, oh, I don't want to go over a felon. They're going to stay at home. This is an in interesting election. I think that right now Joe Biden has to change it around. He has to he has to find a way to move momentum in his favor. And I think that the more that Donald Trump talks, the more momentum will shift. Could people like, oh fuck, that guy is actually running. I don't think that it's like clicked for people that this guy is running again, you know? And when it mm -hmm. does, I think you'll start seeing bullet Biden go up in the polls. But we gotta wait. So well, his first conviction is in March, or at least first court date. Well, that's the hope, but they are. Um, it's fucking he bad. did file an uh, he did file an appeal, so I don't know. And the Supreme Court sucks. It's just such. A, I mean, it's such a. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's it is a bad, it is a bad setup for the Republicans through and through. Like they're not in a good position at all. And just looking from that, looking from the electoral math that's against them looking at the Senate races, it, they have a slight advantage. Um, but for the most part, they're in trouble. They're in serious trouble. Uh, it's not good. 